there are some states that only have medical exemptions. Uh, the majority of states have some non-medical exemption. Right. We have both philosophical and religious. Uh, effectively, it's not different, right. right? I mean, there's no... Yeah, you can't really differentiate Well, I mean, the, and the reality is, essentially, um, no organized religion is against vaccines. And so it's a little bit of uh, really a misuse of the term, honestly. I mean, to claim a religious exemption, it's it's just another way of framing a philosophical exemption. Um, yeah. And so, and, and there, I guess you have to talk, we talked before about herd immunity, community immunity, and you're always going to have medical exemptions. And so there's going to be some percentage of the population that is not receiving a particular vaccine. Right. Because they can't, they, they can't, yeah, they're not. Right. And, but, but from a disease control public health point of view, that's okay because that number is a so small, small percentage of the group. That's right. And the, the percentage of the population that can get it is enough to protect us all. Um, and so it really is something you're doing for someone else. Now, that calculus changes dramatically when non-medical exemptions rise.